Meta's largest Llama 3 model is reportedly coming in just about a week. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the AI headlines you need in around five minutes. Today is a very product news-centric edition of the headlines, with the kickoff story being that Meta is finally releasing its largest Llama 3 model next week on July 23rd. This is according to a Meta employee, as reported by the information. Now, this model has been announced. This is the 405 billion parameter Llama 3 model. And this one, in addition to being larger than the previous versions we've gotten, will be multimodal. It will be able to understand and generate both images and text. When Llama 3 was released back in April, it was their 8 billion and 70 billion parameter models, which quickly became very commonly used among AI developers. Back in April, when Llama 370B was released, Professor Ethan Mollick speculated that the $400 billion parameter plus model would reach GPT 4 level. Of course, since then, we've gotten GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and it will be a big question just how far off the state of the art this newest open source release really is. Not content to let Meta have all the fun, Google Gemini also has some upcoming features. This is from a blog post on testingcatalog.com. The post is based on the fact that Google has scheduled five Gemini announcements for July 15th and July 18th, and then goes through to rank what they're most likely about. The big contender that people seem to be interested in is GEMS. Effectively, this is a version of custom GPTs, which people have been waiting for for some time now. Other speculations include memory or personalized responses, scheduled prompts, which could be an interesting integration with Google search capabilities, for example, allowing people to ask Google to send them a curated set of daily news every morning. There's evidence for voice recording and Google Photo integration. And Testing Catalog also found a hidden button that suggests that we might get a prompt enhancer. Given that we've seen Claude push really far into the let our system figure out the right prompts based on your prompts, this is one that wouldn't be too surprising, even if it would be incredibly useful. Some of the other speculations are around a Chrome extension, a real-time response toggle, and an updated imaging model. At the time of recording, we don't have any more information, but this is certainly something I'll be watching for this week. Third today, Amazon's AI shopping assistant Rufus is now available to all U.S. customers in the Amazon shopping app. Amazon writes, Rufus is designed to help customers save time and make more informed purchasing decisions by answering questions on a variety of shopping needs and products right in the Amazon Shopping app. We're pleased to announce, they write, that Rufus is now available to all U.S. customers in the Amazon Shopping app. As part of the announcement, Amazon also shared some of what they've learned during the beta test. They say that customers have already asked Rufus tens of millions of questions, and so far they're using it for things like understanding product details and hearing what other customers say. When Rufus gives an answer, it appears that it also suggests another set of additional questions, which apparently customers are also clicking on as well. And then the other things that people are using it for are pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Getting contextual product recommendations, the example they give being a pool umbrella specifically for Florida. People are using it to compare options, e.g. what's the difference between gas and wood-fired pizza ovens. People are using it to get product updates, access current and past orders and even answer questions that are, quote, not obviously related to shopping. Amazon writes, because Rufus can answer a wide range of questions, it can help customers at any stage of their shopping journey. A customer interested in cookware may first ask, what do I need to make a souffle? Preparing for special occasions is also popular, with shoppers asking questions like, what do I need for a summer party? So far, I have not used Rufus, but it feels to me like one of those applications of AI that either will become completely default, just the totally normal way that we interact with shopping, or will be quietly removed from this application in about a year. Given that this has been live with testers, and that Amazon is choosing to put it in their main shopping app in their biggest market in the US, it seems like they like the results they've had so far. If you have had a chance to use it, use either the comments on Spotify or on YouTube to share how Rufus has been for you. For now, though, that is going to do it for our headlines edition. Next up, the main episode.